Hey guys, I've got a new tutorial for you and I'm gonna be showing you how to model a Rubik's Cube in Cinema 4D. So basically you can create a scene such as this one with it, but I'm only gonna show you how to model and texture it because I wanna make this tutorial just for the beginners. But if you want me to put a download link for this project file just let me know in the comments below. So let's just create a new project file and then click on this menu and select the cube. So um, if you look at the Rubik's Cube you can see that it is composed of 27 smaller cubes. So we're just gonna model one of those smaller cubes and then clone it. So you can see that the edges are way too sharp. You can fix that by clicking on the cube and then taking the fillet. Just decrease the, the radius to about 15 centimeters. So that looks about right. Now we have to clone this cube. We can do that by going to MoGraph and selecting the cloner. Now just drag the cube under the cloner. Uh, then select the cloner and under the mode set it to grid array. Make sure that the count, count is set to 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So we have successfully uh, cloned the cube but you can see that the the cubes aren't apart enough so you just have to change the size to about uh, 405 centimeters and once you, you've you done that you can see that uh, the object we have created looks like a Rubik's cube now we have to texture it just create a base material which uh, is usually black and just just apply it to the cube like this then we could just texture the sides but if you look closely at the Rubik's cube you can see that the sides aren't painted but they have stickers on them so we can fix it by uh, selecting the cube and then pressing the C on the keyboard so that makes the cube um, an editable object now select the cloner and press the C on your keyboard once again. So that creates 27 different cubes. Now just select all of them. You can do this by cl clicking on the first one and then also clicking on the last one while holding down shift. So once you have selected all of them, all of them, right click and select connect objects plus delete. So basically it merges all, all of the cubes into a single object. Now we have to create stickers. You can do that by going here to the live selection tool and just change the radius over here to 1 so it's a bit more accurate. Now we have to select these sides somehow. You can do that by go, clicking, clicking on this icon and going to the polygon mode. So while holding down the shift just select all of these sides. Make sure that you don't uh, misclick them because you only want to select the big, the big polygons. And make sure that you you're holding Shift, uh, so the selection continues. So once you've done that, uh, right click and select extrude inner. So um, just change the value to about 2.5 and click apply. So basically if you look closely and then undo and redo, you can see that uh, it creates a smaller polygon in the polygon we have selected before. So the second thing we gotta do is right click again and select extrude. Just change the value to let's say 1.5 and then click apply. So basically what this does, you can see that it extrudes the selected polygons out. If you quickly undo, you can see that it extrudes it out. It makes it like 3D. Um, so we got our stickers, now we have to texture them. 
so just let's create six materials and change their colors you can create uh, your own colors you can texture it however you want but I'm, go I'm gonna make it like a real Rubik's Cube So just create all of the materials that are on the Rubik's Cube. This one is red and blue. And the last one is green. Now go to your life selection tool again and make sure that you're on polygon mode select the cube and click anywhere else besides of the cube so uh, it deselects now we have to paint this, this, these stickers you can do this by selecting only uh, one side only the polygons on one side and make sure you hold down shift so when we drag the texture it will only apply the texture to the selected polygon so you can just drag it over here and you can see that only the polygons that we have selected are now painted white now uh, just do the same for all of the other sides and when you are doing this make sure that when you click on the first polygon you don't hold down shift because for example um, let me just select this you have selected this, uh, this side and you just continue to this side you can see that the old side is still selected and for example if I apply the yellow material it would uh, paint this side too so let's just go back make sure that you only select the side you wanna paint now let's just put the orange here I'm, I'm just gonna paint it like a real Rubik's cube then yellow this one's red this one's green and the last one is blue so just deselect it and if you if you've done if you have done everything correctly you should have a beautiful Rubik's Cube so you can just pre-render it and if you look closely you can see that it has stickers on it see the sides are still black um, so yeah hope you, you enjoyed this tutorial now you can do whatever you want with it and make sure to leave a like and comment and thanks for watching bye